I must continue growing and never give up. Continue in what you have learned and become convinced of. It's the same word Jesus used in John 15 when he said, abide in me. Same word, continue in me, remain in me, abide in me. And, and, and the word has power, and it's like a branch that's connected to the trunk. What happens to a branch if it says to itself, I don't need the stinking trunk anymore. I'm going to go off and do my own thing. What happens? It dies. It dies. It withers and dies. At once it starts. That's, this, that's the force of the word. Continue in what you have learned and become convinced of. If you're a, any baseball fans here? A few. We're, we're now going into the best part of baseball season. It's after the All-Star game. Now it's time for the boys to become men. It's time to find out what our teams are made of. I'm a Cardinal fan. I'm already thinking about football. It's just uh, <laughs> my glory days are long past. But here's the thing that's true of baseball. It's true of most sports, but especially true in baseball. And you, you know this, you, you Dodger fans, you Giant fans. The best team doesn't always win. It's the team that plays to the last pitch of the last inning of the last game. And baseball has 162 games. That's the team that will be the champion. It's the same in the kingdom of God. Jesus said there are all kinds of people in the parable of the sower, all kinds of people who when they first hear the Bible are like, yes, I'm in. And it's like, like a team charging out of the locker room in the spring. Hope springs eternal. Yes, but then what happens? The summer comes. The dog days of summer. The heat rises. The sun starts scorching everything. And what happens to that, that vine, Jesus said? He said it has no root. And it dries up and perishes. That's what happens to a person who does not continue in what you have learned and believed in. 